to Parrot Playhouse. My name is April, and this is Maui, my black-headed kayak. And today's video is going to be me actually cleaning the bird room. I uploaded a video where I said, I think it's the title, but it was like, you cleaning at Parrot Playhouse, and I guess I wasn't really cleaning, so I got some oh, hate comments, not hate comments, but just like, yo, that girl's not really clean. I thought this was a cleaning video, so. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna be scrubbing poop. Hopefully it doesn't get between my nails. Yuck. And we're just gonna be doing everything. So first, let's talk about what we're gonna use to clean. So peeps, listen up here. A lot of cleaning products are toxic for your parents. They'll kill your birds, right Maui? Yes, kill them. So that is why I use this little white vinegar. Here it is. And that's what it looks like. Super cheap, like two bucks and 50 cents at the grocery store. Whoa, way cheaper than cleaning products. And you can use it on everything. I do, I use it on everything. So the way you mix it, the dilution. Does anybody have a kayak that likes to do their hair? I don't know what I would do without them. I'm gonna have so much volume after this video. So you wanna use <laughs> two cups of vinegar to one gallon of water, shake it up, pour it in a spray bottle, and that's all you have to do. You're done. There's your cleaning product. Boom. Another thing that I love to use are these microfiber cloths. So you can wash them, you can recycle them, and they have kind of a rough surface, so they're really good on kind of getting that poop up. But hopefully you won't have to scrub that much because hopefully you do a deep clean every week and you don't let that poop pile up. So, mmm. Then you're gonna need a bucket, of course. Make sure if you're cleaning and that bucket is full of water, don't let any birds drown in there. I know my kayaks, they like to play in water, so they will drown. They will drown, we don't want anybody to drown. Okay, and then paper towels. And then, my favorite, a mask. So, yes, this is a rewashable mask. Look how cool that is. So the reason why I have this is because our lungs are delicate and we're basically inhaling the dander, the spores from the poop when it dries. That's why you gotta stay on top of your poop. It sits on our lungs. It's basically, the dander is like skin that goes into your lungs and it just collects bacteria, grows things, makes your lungs sick. And many people have to give up the birds because of it. So wear some kind of mask. I love this mask. And this is the brand. All right, okay, so that's the brand. I'll put the link below. And then of course, my vacuum cleaner. And then I'm gonna have a mop. And oh my cuteness, Victoria Cockatoo adopt a cute bird like me. Of course we're gonna clean it. Yay! If you'd like to buy one of these adorable t-shirts and support the birds of Parrot Playhouse, our Etsy account link will be below. All right, let's get to work. Oh my gosh, let's start cleaning. Are you ready, Maui? Are you ready? Okay, peeps, this is what it looks like in here. We have a ton of work to do. Look, so I change their paper every day and this is what happens. I sweep every day and this is what happens. Bueno, Thomas, did you make some of this mess? Huh? Yes? Totally guilty. I feel like, who's that guy with the mask? Oh my God, Star Trek, Star, Star Wars, Dark Vader. Okay, that's enough. Oh my God, if you guys are new to this channel, you're like, that chick is crazy, she's so crazy. Now we're gonna spray everything down. This is like the first thing I like to do with the vinegar water solution. So we just kind of spray all the poop. So this is how I do it. So you just kind of spray all the perches and you spray the paper. So this is another little trick, spray the paper. So when you lift the paper, the dander from the birds doesn't rise. So every day when you change your paper, spray the paper, just like that. Okay, so now I'm losing this mask. We sprayed the paper, we'll be fine. But seriously, it's important to clean with a mask. I always, always do, but today for the video, whoa, that was a total fail. 
So I'm gonna walk you guys through these two cages and then I'm just gonna go like speed it up and that way you'll just be able to see me do the entire bird room. And then we're going to, what are we gonna do? We're gonna sweep and then we're gonna spray, spray spots for all the poop and then we're gonna wipe that up. We're gonna vacuum and then we're gonna mop. And you can also steam clean if you want. I mop because my steamer broke. Okay. And I just don't feel like buying one right now. I got them in air conditioning instead this month, which was a lot. Okay, so now we're gonna take our paper towels. And I'm just gonna wipe off the poop spots because I don't want to get that on the microfiber towel, like not like a chunk of it because it's like, ugh. Coming in with the microfiber cloth. Oh, Thomas! Or was that Quinn? Now we're wetting it. So bring it really good, you guys like this. So the reason why I do have a sponge, but the reason why I don't like to clean with brushes is unfortunately these cages now these days are not made like they used to be. Uh, there was a brand called California Cages back in the day and they made the most incredible cages. Now we've got King's Cages who also makes incredible cages. Unfortunately, I bought HQ Cages, which used to make a pretty decent cage. I used to love them. Like their models were amazing. Now I bought the new models. Thomas has the new model and it's only two years old and it's already rusty. It chips really easy. The screws come undone. Victoria has an HQ cage and oh my gosh, it doesn't fit well. It has sharp corners. It's a real disappointment. So if you want a good cage, don't buy what I have, buy a king's cage. Victoria, hi. I just brought her in from outside so she could hang out with us, huh? Mwah. Oh, you're so sweet. You're so, oh. <laughs> you're so sweet. I love you. I love you. You ready to clean? She doesn't like the lights or the camera. She's okay with the cell phone, but, um, yeah, but at least you'll get to hang out. Okay, let's get to work. Let's get back to work. So now that I've cleaned Babies and Puppies cage, I'm gonna take this moment, toy safety check. So just make sure there are no chains, nothing that can strangle them to death. This, I find that dangerous, so I'm gonna actually tie it up a bit or I'm gonna remove it, so that's going bye-bye. And um, so this is how you do. You just want to really check everything. Make sure that any of these links right there, nothing's like halfway open, because your bird can really get hurt. So that toy is about to go. All right, safety check done. There she is. Oh, I love you. I have non-stick band-aid wrap in here to keep Victoria from slipping. So I need to change it and that's what it looks like. And I'll have the link below of where you can get it on Amazon. Another cage down. Okay, Victoria, your cage is clean. We are pumped. 
to clean these guys' cages. All right, you ready? We are getting closer as I am starting to look really tired. We have one more cage to go. And it's Casey's, my African Grey, who is enjoying the sunshine right now. Good for her, right? <laughs> You're so cute. After you sleep, make sure you start spot feeding. That way, the poop lifts easily. Okay, so now that I finished vacuuming and I went through and I spot sprayed all the dried poops, now it's time to vacuum out my rabbit air purifier cleaner that purifies the air in the bird room. This is a amazing machine and it's a must have. Check the description below. I did a whole video on this incredible air purifier. Okay, so it is time to mop. We finished everything else. We are on the home stretch. Oh my gosh, I'm tired. So in my water bucket, I have a gallon of water and then two cups of vinegar mixed into it. And then I've got my Libin mop, which a steamer would be my choice, but my steamer broke, so I went and bought this. So we're gonna give it a try. So let's do. <laughs> We've got dirty water. Okay, so now it's time to change it and then we're gonna keep mopping. Hi guys, we did it! We finished the bird room. I'm here with Puffy. Whoa, it's a lot of work trying to film and actually do a cleaning. It was intense. Right, Puffy? Yes, you were so good. You were outside. So let's see what we did. So you guys remember what a mess it was in here, right? So that is what it looks like. Let's take a peek. So we've got newspaper in the cages. Hi, hi baby. So everything is clean, thank God. Victoria's cage is clean. She's relaxing, so that's good. We've got Casey. Casey's back. She was. She spent the day outside. Did you have a nice day, Casey? Yes, she was in the aviary. So, as you can see, the bird room is clean. And then the chairs are back underneath. You got to make the most out of space when you've got a bird room. And the floor is clean. So I put newspaper down there just to prevent more poops. Huh, Maui? Yes. So everybody is settled. There they are. Can I say hi? Yeah? Yeah? Not really. He doesn't want to say hi. Thomas always wants to say hi. Yay. 